What is up, YouTube? Last of Guy here. Oh, clicked the wrong one, but oh well. Um, I'm gonna do some dueling with my uh, Heraldic Beast Baryan deck. It's an Xyz heavy deck. Very heavy on Xyz cards. It's all about supporting the psychics, yeah. Um, I'm also gonna do deck requests. So you can send me your request here. You can send me a request on YouTube, Facebook, oh, or anything really. No, I'm sorry, I'm so tired. It doesn't really matter to me. And so, and, uh, yeah, anything you throw out my way, I'm going to build it. Let's find out what took this guy's running here. So I'm gonna use MST. Oh, he's gonna dark bribe him at MST. Why, man? Why? Oh wow! I just I just made it. Just... Okay, I'm gonna call it a custom duck. So I'm gonna call it custom. Gonna summon Goblinburg. I'm gonna play the Leo in my hand. Oh crap, not what I wanted. I'm bad at this. So I'm gonna overlay for my Fairy King. So I'm going to use its effect. And then I'm gonna lose, use Leo's effect. To get the Aber Conway into my oh wow seriously look at that the three Barians are all in a row so cool so I'm gonna set and then I'm going to attack with the Fairy King oh see that's why of course Mirror Force that's fine by me friend because I've got that card so I mean like I have Heraldry Reborn and an Antario so I'm safe besides he tries and attacks. I'm just gonna prison it. Say hello to dimensional prison, dude. Can't beat me. Can't touch me. Oh, dimensional prison, you're so good. Here we go. Um, I'm gonna heraldry reborn. Now there probably is something that's on your mind. Like as you view my extra deck, you notice that there is no heraldic king genome heritage. I'm going to explain that to you right now. See, Harold the King Genome Heritage isn't that good of a card. And because it's a Baryan deck, it doesn't have a Chaos number. That's why I run 39 and 69. So I'll go into my main phase 2 and overlay these two cards. That's why I run number 39 in the Chaos form? That's why I also read number 69 and its chaos form. And may I mention this was released in TCG uh, via Legacy of the Valiant. So now I've got some more things. And uh, I'm trying to decide what my XC summon. I'm going to go with King of the Fair Limbs. It's time to get Basculus and Kage to Kage in my hand. So I'm going to get rid of Leo. Get him back in the graveyard. To add Kage to Kage from my hand for King of the Feral Imps, then get Basilisk in my hand for Leo. And like I said, the, I really don't know this, but this is the deck that I'm building. Uh, I'm almost done with it. So, once I finish it, I'm gonna make a deck profile of it and hopefully you'll like it I see I'm getting a lot of negative responses from the gravekeepers deck I'm gonna say this one so this, that's just the deck I'm using currently once I get a better build I will do a better build of it but uh that deck will be a tournament deck Hopefully.
Now take my bad. Now take my cards, Wrath, you douchebag. Okay, so let's form Utopia. Just to piss him off. And watch. Next turn, it's going to be Barian's Force. I'm not going to do it this turn. Oh, wow, he quits. That's really sad. I got through about five minutes with this dude, and then he quits. That's sad. Oh, well. You live and you learn. Round two. Hopefully this guy. Hopefully this guy's better. I'm not really gonna care what deck he's gonna be running. I really hope the first guy would be a lot more. Would be you know a better you know sportsmanship than my other guy here was. All right, I'm gonna unplug my laptop for a minute. Prepare for a little change in light. But all right, so I'm gonna bust out tour guide. And where's the other one? All right, right here. Gonna overlay for my wind up Zen mines. I'll set the MST, and that's it for me. Hopefully, this guy's got something good. I'm gonna be so pissed if he's running zombies or something. Like, oh shit. Oh, Flanvels? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna play Abercon. Actually, I'm gonna play Leo. So I wanna get a new card in my hand. What could this guy possibly be running? Oh, Hazy. Hazy Flame, cool. So if he's running a Hazy Fire deck, that's pretty cool. Oh, wow, he's gonna MST the MST that's about to, fi that's about to destroy his card. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Hazy Glory, you dick. Well, it doesn't matter. Even if he chained it, it wouldn't really do him any good. So, what is he going to pull out? Oh, well, wow, Flame Ruler. Oh, Barian. <laughs> well, guess what? I run three of them, so it doesn't matter if I bust out a, a Utopia right now. I'm going to play the Abercornway in my deck. Oh, wow, look at that. We have three Barians, and then we got the three Goblin Birds. That's cool. So I'm going to switch the Zen Mines into attack mode. And then I'm going to overlay these two. And I'll go for Kachi Kochi Dragon. Because it's so good. And with no face downs, there's nothing he can do to stop me. So I attack the first time. Oh yeah, son. Yeah, it didn't matter because if I because if I used Zen Mines when I attacked the Flame Room, I would have to destroy a card and I'd have to just show the Kachi Kochi. Oh crap, nice. Oh, that's 2800. This guy's not fucking around. Oh well, too bad I have Gentle Mander. That is, that, it's almost like Battle Fader, but better. In your face. And he quits, too. That is so... Uh, RL. I will see you next time, YouTube. Hopefully with something different. But, uh, like always, be a better player.